Texas federal and state agencies respond after Harvey makes landfall, they will need a game plan for where to take their resources, and they will be relying on a supercomputer at UT Austin. KXAN's Alyssa Gord spent the day with the engineering professor who's running those models for the State Operations Center. Hey there, I'm at UT Austin with engineering professor Clint Dawson. And Clint, you were telling me these models that you're going over, the numbers today look a little different than what they did yesterday. Yes, they're very different, actually. Uh, last night, we were looking at about eight feet of storm surge, and now we're looking at anywhere from 10 to 12 feet. Right, and Clint's been telling me the goal behind calculating all of these numbers is to help keep people on the ground a little safer. From his desk at UT Austin, engineering professor Clint Dawson is tracking high resolution data as Hurricane Harvey draws closer. As far as, you know, academic computing, this is the best available that we have to us. Powered by UT's Lone Star 5 supercomputer, Dawson can pull information about the storm in even greater detail than the National Hurricane Center. He's part of a team that's been tracking hurricanes since the 90s. The Texas State Operations Center and other agencies use this information. It helps them to decide where to evacuate and where to send resources. This is what we live for in the sense that just like a storm chaser, like if you chase tornadoes, you know, you live for tornadoes. Now the flip side is that people get hurt in these things and that's that's what we're trying to do is prevent that. So Dawson waits, glued to his computer screen, hoping to help pinpoint the places most at risk. It's happening more and more. <laughs> just that hurricanes like this just they just blow up and then overnight and then suddenly we have a major event to deal with. Alyssa Gord, KXAN News. Professor Dawson and his colleagues at other universities will be tracking Harvey at least through Saturday. Their latest data shows the most heavily impacted areas could see a maximum water surge of 12 feet. You can follow their updates by clicking on the link with this story at KXAN.com.